Hey, and we're back at it again with the Stardew Valley. Um, not really sure what we're going to do this episode. Right now it's raining, so we're probably just going to honestly check out the mine again. Because that seems like the thing to do when we're uh, dealing with the rain shenanigans. So, I... Oh, duh. So, things are a little bit weird this time, knowing us with a Steam controller. Uh, I really like the Steam controller. I got one few months ago and I was using an Xbox controller to do this with but I decided to switch it up a little bit and it's actually working surprisingly well just got to get used to the button configurations but other than that we're doing pretty good so right now it's raining we're gonna go ahead and check out the mine a little bit just to see if maybe we can get down a couple levels because we don't really don't have anything to do today anyway uh, none of our crops are ready to harvest or anything like that and we have a little bit of money, but I kind of want to save it for the egg festival because I think that's going to be the best thing for us at this point is just to have enough money to go ahead and buy some strawberries. So I'm going to go hit up the mines and if anything happens, I'll let you guys know. Maybe not, maybe not. Oh, slime's going to get us, slime's going to get us. No. There we go. All right, we made it to level 20 today. A little bit slower than usual, but I just want to go ahead and check and see what we got. And it looks like we got a better sword, maybe? Yeah, definitely better. Alright, so what we can do now is we can actually just throw this one away. Because who really cares? And we're gonna take that one. So it's already late, so we should might as well just head back to the house at this point. Alright, as far as our haul today, we did alright, I think. Uh, we didn't do great. But it's better than nothing at this point. Mm, keep this. We're gonna go ahead and just sell like all this because we have a harvest festival tomorrow that we really need stuff for and I swear if this auto run doesn't work I'm gonna get like really upset and just like that we are done for the night all right and today is the egg festival which if you didn't know is like one of those things that really you don't need to go to but the game wants you to anyway so you might as well go Uh, also known as the Egg Festival from Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town that you go to like as soon as you start the game because apparently you're supposed to have chickens by then? I don't know. And why does it keep doing that? So it looks like we're here at the Egg Festival and there's a couple things you can do here because there's really not that much of a point of this festival. First thing you can do is you can go to this shop right here and you can buy strawberries and that is really helpful because they actually are worth quite a lot. Uh, when you sell them in the spring but it really isn't worth it to plant them this year so we're going to go ahead and buy 20 of them and set them aside for next year the other thing you can do is you can look at your journal well actually jk you can't look at your journal i was about to say you could probably talk to everybody here but it looks like you can't really get your journal open here because there's really no time or anything which is kind of odd so we're going to go over here and we're going to just go ahead and start the event. So really all you do is you run around and try to find eggs. It's not super difficult, uh, especially if you stay in this area because there's quite a high concentration of them just sitting right here. Well, I screwed that one up a little bit. And if you try to get the one behind the tombstone, it likes to read to you a lot, so keep out for that. Uh, looks like we're gonna go over here. You can grab that one. Go back up to where I saw one before. She can, oh, she grabs it. And 
it's kind of weird because the NPCs really don't actually participate in the event that much. And it looks like we might have actually lost, which is kind of depressing. Yeah, I think we lost. Did we win? Oh, we didn't. I think you have to get like 10 or so. And we only got seven. Uh, really, all you get is a straw hat, so I'm not that worried about it. I don't even think there's like an achievement for it, so. It's not that big of a deal, but I like to win things, so. That kind of hurts. And we actually forgot to throw our potatoes in here, so we're gonna do that really quick. And then we're gonna go to sleep for the night, because that's all you can really do at this point. <clears throat> Alright, so we leveled up our farming, and we unlocked the bee house, which is actually going to play a big role in the amount of money we make. Because when I first played through this game, I kind of really, I really underestimated the l amount of money you could really make with the bee house. And then I realized there is a flower you can plant in the summer or fall that will net you like 900 gold profit every harvest, which is every three or four days. So basically you make like a thousand dollars a day if you have a couple of these. And some of our crops are ready to harvest, so we're going to have to throw those in here. We already have the foraging bundle done. And we really don't need any of this. So we can just go ahead and throw all this in here. Not gonna make us that much money, but it's better than nothing. And the seeds are free, so might as well. Hitting the wrong button. The other thing we're gonna The other thing we're gonna do today is we are going to process our geodes because Hopefully we'll have something that makes money in them. And man, is this controller being finicky. Either that or I just can't use it right. All right, we're gonna go ahead and water the rest of our crops and see about processing some geodes. Come on, give us something good. Maybe, 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 come on. That's interesting. I think that's the only thing that we don't, oh no. We got two things we can put in the museum. I'll take it. They're low level geodes anyway, so I'm not really disappointed. Usually don't get that much. Ooh, it looks like we got ourselves another reward. So let's go ahead and see what that's all about. And we got a standing geode, which we can set up in our house, but the only, thing, the only problem with that right now is that we just don't have a lot of room in our house. So I don't know what we're gonna do with that. I kinda wanna do some interior decorating in this playthrough just because it's something I really don't mess around with. And I think it'd be nice. So if anybody has any advice or like anything they'd want to see inside my house, just go ahead and hit me up with that because really it's something I don't mess with that much. And since we're since we're in the neighborhood, might as well buy I think 17 more seeds. And just like that, we spent all of our money again. Great. All right, so all I really did was I bought some potato seeds and went ahead and planted them. Unfortunately, I was going to fill the rest of this block out, but we didn't have enough money for that. So I guess we'll just pick that up next next time we have a little bit more money, hopefully tomorrow, because we have a couple of things that we have to ship. Probably should have shipped them directly to him so we could have had the money now, but it's not really going to hurt us that much. So I guess we're going to go ahead and call this one a day. 
All right, so today is the 15th and we got a lot of potatoes to harvest. So hopefully with this money, we can hope get a nice jump on our farm. And ooh, we got a green bean harvested, which I'm definitely gonna need for our uh, crops bundle, which we need to really work on. I'm in town today. I'm going to check and see what exactly that we need for our our bundle to make sure just to make sure we get it all done this season because I really don't want to try to do it next year because that just puts time into the mix that we really don't need. Ideally, if we can get everything done this year, that'd be great, but I highly doubt we're going to get everything done, but we can get as much as possible. And the crops bundles are honestly like probably the easiest things get done so we might as well just go ahead and take care of that all right i did a little bit of looking and it looks like we have most of the spring crop bundle done all we need is cauliflower which we have growing right now and the other thing that we need is the quality crops bundle so i'm going to buy a couple parsnips to plant down just to make sure that we can go ahead and hopefully get this done this year uh, we just got to really hope that we get a quality crop here in the next couple harvests because I really don't want to dedicate that much room to it because I'd just rather have the room to grow some money. All right, so all I did is went back and I bought seven parsnips. I planted two over here by our green beans because we had the extra space. And I went ahead and just planted an extra five just to make sure that we have the best chance possible with getting a quality crop the next harvest because I really want to get this done. But other than that, there's really nothing we can do on our farm. Except, see what this is. What are, oh, just rocks. Okay. Well, we're going to come back on day 16. See what's in store. All right, so we spent most of the day fishing. Uh, I really didn't do it for the money. I just really wanted to get our fishing skills up a little bit because we unlocked some cool things later on. And we found a little bubbling spot, and we got a pretty decent haul. I was hoping to get a couple more, but we started running out of energy, and I got kind of tired of fishing because I'm really, really bad at fishing. So I decided to cut it off there. It looks like we got like nine fish or so. So, I mean, that's not too bad. And we also forged a couple things. So I think that's going to call it for day 16. Again, just really one of those days where you just work on things a little bit and don't do anything that major. Today is day 17. It looks like a lot of our potatoes are ready to harvest. So we're going to make a lot of money today. And no, I do not want to eat the potato. So gonna go ahead and do that again and do the typical thing where I just replace all the uh, potatoes back again why is it uh, sorry about that my controller likes to mess up sometimes and not do what I really want it to but we're gonna go ahead and pick all these up and sell these for probably a couple thousand so I feel like we're going to have a pretty good haul from this. It looks like we got four gold potatoes, which is actually kind of rare for us. So go us, dude. All right, so we're going to go dig around the mines a little bit just to see. Maybe we can just get through this jungle layer because I'm kind of tired of being stuck in it. And let's see how we do. All right, this isn't looking that great for us. Hopefully we can get through this. We got a lot of stuff attacking us. Probably one of those unlucky days or whatever they are. That pop up every now and then. But if you look up here, we have four of them. And normally I wouldn't fight these guys, but there's like an achieve, not an achievement, but a challenge that you need to kill like so many of everything in here. So I'm going to go ahead and Try to see if I can get these guys in one go. It looks like we missed this one. And we got a nice preemptive strike on them, so that's good. That's good. Sword don't fail me now. Ooh. Let's go take out this. Oh god, this one's gonna be fun. Can we aggro the first two? And we actually got them like fairly easily. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. 
usually they're quite a pain to deal with. All right, so we got out of the mines and unfortunately we didn't get that great of a haul today. I think we did a little bit worse than the last time we went in the mines, but we did we did fine on coal and copper, but as far as like finding actually interesting things, didn't do that well on. Uh, I'll try again, hopefully tomorrow or something. But I think this is gonna be it for episode three because I'm getting kind of tired and there's a couple other videos I really wanna work on tonight. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.